Good. Developing news right now. We now know the names of three suspects in the shooting death of an LAPD officer. They were arrested today during several police raids across the Southland. Tonight, KCAL9's Rachel Kim is live at LAPD headquarters in downtown LA. Rachel. Susie, just hours after 24 year old officer Juan Diaz was gunned down, we're told nearly 100 detectives were assigned to this case. Well, tonight, the LAPD announced three suspects, ages 18, 20, and 23, have been booked and charged with murder with gang allegation. No bail. A community continued to mourn the loss of LAPD officer Juan Diaz Friday night as his department announced the arrest of three suspects in the murder of one of their own. The suspects are identified as Francisco Talamantes, Christian Facundo, and Ashlyn Smith, all from Temecula. But these are the folks that we believe are responsible for that senseless murder of Juan Diaz. So there were witnesses and people who saw people who saw people and that held, helped us lead to a trail. It was not done easily. It was not done overnight, but it was done the right way without incident. It all began with a series of early morning raids carried out in Temecula, Riverside and Murrieta. This was the scene on a street in Murrieta just before 6 a.m. As a wave of officers descended on two houses, Martha Lopez watched and recorded from her house across the street. She says police ordered a man who she had never seen before to come out and when when he did, he was at gunpoint. He was with his hands up. They were pointing at him because I saw the green lights on his, his body. And then he came out with the hands up. Chris Sherm says he watched it all go down from the start. And they're popping their trunks, throwing on all their gear, getting their silenced MP5s out. And you could tell right away this was something serious. This was beyond just a normal raid. Word spread quickly in this neighborhood that all of this was to find the killer of LAPD officer Juan Diaz. Investigators say Diaz was at a taco stand in Lincoln Heights around 1 a.m. Saturday with his girlfriend and her two brothers when he confronted one or more graffiti vandals. Those vandals later returned, displayed a weapon to Diaz, then opened fire as the officer and his group were getting in their car to leave. Officer Diaz died at the scene. Six days after the fatal shooting, fellow officers wore a reminder of their brother in blue and their mission. And the senseless murder, um, which, you know, uh, should not happen to anybody, um, let alone a police officer uh, who was a real hero, uh, is something that we will remember forever. Officer Diaz had been with the LAPD for two years. He was assigned to the Internal Affairs Division. Mayor Garcetti said there will be a memorial service for the officer a week from Monday. Reporting live tonight from LAPD headquarters, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.